In a recent debate, former President Donald Trump articulated his views on the state of crime in America, showcasing his commitment to addressing pressing societal issues through strong leadership. His assertions, which highlighted a perceived increase in crime rates, were met with counterpoints from debate moderator David Muir. This exchange not only underscores Trump's dedication to confronting significant challenges, but also emphasizes the role of informed debate in shaping public understanding of complex issues. During the debate, Trump presented a robust argument about the escalating levels of crime, expressing his concerns with clarity and urgency. He detailed his belief that violent crime had reached unprecedented levels, which he attributed to various factors affecting public safety. Trump's perspective was grounded in his extensive leadership experience and his genuine concern for the welfare of American communities. By focusing on these rising crime rates, Trump aimed to bring attention to what he sees as a critical issue requiring immediate action and reform. Trump's approach to leadership in this context involves a detailed examination of crime statistics, particularly those reported by the Bureau of Justice Statistics. He highlighted recent figures that showed significant increases in violent crime, including rises in rates of aggravated assaults, rape, and car theft. Trump's emphasis on these statistics reflects his commitment to ensuring that data accurately represents the reality of crime trends, which he believes is essential for informing effective policy decisions and safeguarding public safety. In the debate, David Muir, serving as the moderator, played a crucial role in presenting a balanced view. When Trump discussed his concerns about rising crime rates, Muir responded by referencing data from the FBI, which indicated a different trend, specifically that overall violent crime was decreasing. Muir's role was to provide additional context and factual information, thereby contributing to a more nuanced discussion. By presenting the FBI's data, Muir aimed to offer a broader perspective on the crime statistics and ensure that the debate was well-rounded. Muir's intervention was designed to clarify and provide supplementary insights into the crime data being discussed. His reference to FBI statistics was intended to ensure that the conversation included multiple viewpoints, thus enhancing the public's understanding of the issue. This approach highlights the importance of balanced reporting and the moderator's role in facilitating a comprehensive examination of complex topics. The interaction between Trump and Muir underscores the significance of accurate data and the value of informed debate in addressing critical issues. Trump's focus on crime statistics and his call for attention to rising crime rates reflect his dedication to using data as a basis for policy discussions. His leadership is characterized by a commitment to prioritizing public safety and ensuring that policies are informed by reliable and comprehensive information. Muir's role in providing counterpoints and additional data illustrates the importance of presenting a range of perspectives and discussions. By including FBI data, Muir contributed to a more nuanced debate, helping the public to understand the broader context of crime trends. This balanced approach supports a thorough examination of issues and fosters a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by society. The debate between Trump and Muir serves as a valuable example of how leadership and moderation can contribute to meaningful discussions about important societal issues. Trump's focus on crime and his use of data to support his views reflect his commitment to effective leadership and public safety. Meanwhile, Muir's provision of additional context and data highlights the role of moderators in ensuring that debates are well-rounded and informative. This exchange demonstrates the importance of both strong leadership and balanced moderation in fostering constructive discussions and promoting a comprehensive understanding of critical issues. By engaging in informed dialogue and considering multiple perspectives, both leaders and moderators play a crucial role in addressing challenges and shaping effective policies that benefit society as a whole. The discussion between Trump and Muir ultimately underscores the value of thoughtful, data-driven conversations in the pursuit of solutions to complex problems. The period from 2020 to 2024 saw significant shifts in crime rates across the United States. The trends reveal a complex picture of crime dynamics, influenced by various social, economic, and policy factors. This overview delves into the changes in violent crime rates during this period, with a particular focus on states that experienced the most dramatic increases. Nationally, crime rates showed considerable variability. According to FBI reports, the country witnessed fluctuations in violent crime, including homicide, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. Some states saw a significant rise in crime rates, while others managed to reduce them or maintain stability. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag states with the largest increases in violent crime. District of Columbia, asterisk, the District of Columbia consistently reported the highest violent crime rates in the nation. From 2020 to 2022, the city saw a troubling trend of increasing violence. The violent crime rate was 812 incidents per 100,000 residents in 2022. In 2023, there was a notable 39% increase in violent crimes, including a sharp rise in armed carjackings, which doubled from the previous year. Contributing factors included the city's dense population, economic disparities, and social unrest. New Mexico asterisk New Mexico's violent crime rate also saw a steady increase over the past decade. By 2022, the rate was 780 incidents per 100,000 residents. The state experienced an 84% increase in firearm-related deaths from 2011 to 2022. Economic challenges, high poverty rates, and drug-related crime significantly impacted the state's crime trends. 
Alaska asterisk Alaska, with a violent crime rate of 759 incidents per 100,000 residents in 2022, has consistently struggled with high crime rates. Domestic violence and sexual assault remain significant issues. The state's geographic isolation and limited access to resources have hindered effective crime prevention and intervention efforts. Arkansas asterisk in 2022, Arkansas had a violent crime rate of 645 incidents per 100,000 residents. While the state experienced fluctuations in its crime rates, it remained among the highest in terms of violent crime. Factors contributing to this include economic instability and social issues. Louisiana asterisk Louisiana's violent crime rate stood at 629 incidents per 100,000 residents in 2022. The state has faced persistent high crime rates, particularly in urban areas like New Orleans. Contributing factors include economic challenges, gang activity, and drug trafficking. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag crime prevention and law enforcement strategies. In response to rising crime rates, various states have implemented strategies aimed at crime prevention and improved law enforcement. These strategies include community policing asterisk many states have adopted community policing to foster stronger relationships between law enforcement and local communities. This approach involves proactive problem solving and collaboration with residents to address and prevent crime. Gun control measures asterisk states with high levels of gun violence have introduced stricter gun control measures. These include background checks, restrictions on firearm sales, and enhanced penalties for gun-related crimes. The goal is to reduce the availability of illegal firearms and prevent gun-related violence. Drug rehabilitation programs asterisk to address drug-related crime. Some states have expanded access to drug rehabilitation programs. These programs aim to reduce criminal behavior related to drug addiction by addressing the root causes of substance abuse. Domestic violence prevention asterisk states with high rates of domestic violence, such as Alaska and Arkansas, have developed programs to support victims and prevent future incidents. These programs provide resources for victims, train law enforcement officers to handle domestic violence cases, and increase public awareness of the issue. Crime prevention through environmental design. CPTD, CPTD strategies involve modifying the physical environment to reduce crime. This approach includes improving street lighting, increasing surveillance in high crime areas, and designing public spaces to discourage criminal activity. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag conclusion. The years 2020 to 2024 presented a varied landscape of crime rates across the United States. While some states managed to reduce crime, others faced alarming increases, particularly in urban areas. The factors influencing these trends include economic disruptions, urbanization, social issues, and varying law enforcement practices. States like the District of Columbia, New Mexico, Alaska, Arkansas, and Louisiana face significant challenges, including high poverty rates, substance abuse, and gang activity. These factors made it difficult to achieve substantial reductions in crime. In response to rising crime rates, many states have adopted new strategies, such as community policing, gun control measures, and expanded drug rehabilitation programs. Although these efforts have had some success, the overall crime landscape remains complex and continues to evolve. As the U.S. moves forward, addressing the root causes of crime and implementing effective law enforcement strategies will be crucial in improving public safety and reducing crime rates in the coming years.